Well, Rick, Jennifer Lawson didn't even appear in person today, and what happened in court lasted only a matter of minutes. But for the family of Crystal Rogers, they say that doesn't matter. What they're seeing is progress, and that's something they are grateful for. Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Joseph L. Lawson. Four months after being arrested, the first person charged in the 2015 death of Crystal Rogers appeared virtually from the Kentucky State Reformatory. The judge was prepared to hear a motion to reduce his bond from 500000 to 50000 unsecured. Lawyers say Lawson, who has been in a wheelchair since a 2021 motorcycle crash, is not a flight risk. But that motion will be heard next month when he can appear in person. In court Friday, prosecutor Shane Young assured the judge progress is being made, saying Lawson's team has already received discovery and will have more in a matter of weeks. It's going to consist of the um, FBI reports and the state police reports, um, supplements from um, over the last year and a half or so. Lawson is charged with conspiracy to commit murder and tampering with evidence. The attorney for his father, also charged in the case, recently revealed Joseph Lawson drove Rogers' car to the Bluegrass Parkway and then called his dad for a ride. But this week, attorney Ted Lavitt maintained Steve Lawson had nothing to do with Rogers' death. In all of the thousands of pages of, of discovery that I've been given, there's not one line that talks about my client hurting or being involved and uh, doing away with, with, with Crystal. But until the case goes to trial, it's unlikely we'll know more about the crime and the involvement of the three charged so far. Joseph Lawson, Steve Lawson, and Roger's boyfriend at the time of her disappearance, Brooks Halk. But Joseph Lawson's attorneys say next month they'll be ready to go. Come February 8th, we can, I think, start talking about trial dates. The prosecutor agreed, telling the judge he's ready to set a trial date and secure justice for a family that has waited more than eight years. A family that was grateful to once again have their day in court. And guys, it's worth pointing out Joseph Lawson isn't the only name on the docket for February 8th. The other two charged in the case, his father Steve and Brooks Houck, will also be in court on that day. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.